In today's video, we'll be introducing an all new mode coming up in the next free update of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This new mode is called Dragon Ball Card Warriors and is an online card game where you can enjoy a fast paced card battle with players across the globe. Let's take a look. Before jumping into online matches, start off with building your card decks. In Dragon Ball Card Warriors, you will be creating two different decks. The main deck, containing 25 character or event cards, and the SP deck, consisting of five SP cards. Character cards are the most essential ones. Each card has offensive power to attack the opponent's character cards or leaders. Reduce the leader's HP to zero and victory will be yours. So use the different attacks and skills wisely to win the battle. Event cards can be used to activate all sorts of effects in the field. However, unlike character cards, they don't remain on the field and are discarded once you use them to activate their effects. So build your own strategy by combining character cards and event cards. And finally, the SP cards. To play SP cards on the field, you'll need to use a combination of event cards to fulfill special conditions. But as a reward, SP cards trigger devastating powers and help you take the upper hand and win the battle. The number on the upper left of each card is its cost and energy. To play character or event cards on the field, you'll need an energy level equal or superior to the cost written on the card. At the beginning of each turn, your energy will be entirely recovered and your max energy increased by one. A unique feature of Dragon Ball Card Warriors lies in the energy bank system. Indeed, any energy you have remaining at the end of your turn will automatically be stored in the energy bank. By unleashing the saved energy, you'll be able to summon incredibly powerful cards with cost higher than 10. However, the energy bank system can be used only once, so be sure to make the most of it. Next, let's talk about the symbol of each card. There are four type symbols in total. When one of your cards is defeated, its type symbol will be stored, and you can use those symbols to activate stronger skills for other cards of your deck. The use of type symbols is key to your strategy, so think about it carefully when building your decks. You can enjoy the card battles with three online modes. Casual battle, to defeat other players without caring about your rank. Ranking battle, Depending on whether you win or lose, your rank will be changed. Tournament battle, which will be held once a month, and players will be separated into three teams to battle. The players of the best team will get a special reward. Utilizing your cards and strategy, try to be victorious in each battle. Dragon Ball Card Warriors will be available as a free update for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on October 27th, 2020.